In four years, I don't want to look back and think, what did I become living in that house? It is my great honor to introduce to you the First Lady of the United States. Oh, still got it. Never lost it. <laughs> A new Showtime series is reframing the U.S. presidency by analyzing it through a different lens. That's right. The First Lady centers on the personal and political lives of three prominent women who once served in this role. The show stars Viola Davis as Michelle Obama, Michelle Pfeiffer as Betty Ford, and Gillian Anderson as Eleanor Roosevelt. The series premiered last month with a new episode airing on Paramount's Showtime every Sunday through June 19th. It is an incredible look at three amazing, profound women who really shook up mm. uh, the, 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 the lives of the White House. Mm. And joining us now is Academy Award-winning producer of it all, Kathy Schulman. Mm. She is the showrunner and executive producer of The First Lady. We, we thank you so much for joining us, Kathy. And I just have to ask, you know, so much has been written, seen, uh, depicted of many of these women. Uh, what is the genesis of this groundbreaking new series and, and how and why did it come to be? Well, thanks for having me. And uh, it, it came to be because I felt this enormous need to, you know, kind of help us take a look at history through a different lens, you know, the lens of the female experience, you know, through the... Uh, you know, presidential terms in the White House. And the intention is to, you know, visit three first ladies, you know, each season and kind of track the similarities and the differences of their experience. But most importantly, to shift the lens, to, to see things through a non-patriarchal, non-male biased view and to get an inside look, almost as if these White House walls could talk to what happened, you know, in the conversations, in the personal rooms with the families and how all of that influences, you know, decisions and policies and social activism across the country. Got and you had to pick just three first ladies to do. It's almost but you know like, what? Those <laughs> three were the pretty they were. big choices. They were. They were great choices. But I feel like this could be a series, right? Let's go through yeah. all of them. Um, so, Kathy, That's the idea. That's oh, the idea, of course. <laughs> good. Um, so, Kathy, you are a female showrunner of a series centered on powerful women. So tell us about your experience of making the first lady through that lens. Well, you know, it was it was actually wonderful. I mean, it's very it's taken a long time, you know, in Hollywood to get to a place that we could make a show that's about women, let alone middle aged women by middle aged women um, in the sense that, you know, all of us, you know, being sort of wise and in our 50s, the process of working together was an enormously exciting and and so supportive and also just in a constant um you know, focus on on the work and the mission of getting this information out there and shifting this lens. And it was sort of without, you know, drama and conflict and with a lot of collaboration and love. It was really fun to do. I, I find it so interesting you telling the story, weaving through time, space, and in such a different, as we say, lens of these women's and, and, and the times that they lived in. How, how were you able or what was the challenge of doing it in this way instead of just a straight story uh, through a linear fashion? Oh, well, it was an enormous challenge, you know, in the sense that, you know, we have to we have to pop back and forth and, you know, look for ways that these things connect. And and sort of the way that we constructed the show is we took a look at all of the major events, both historically and in the public eye and in their private lives. And we essentially created, you know, boards where we would look for intersection points, you know, between these experiences. And that drove, you know, the structure and the idea is that you see the collective impact of the women. You see that something that Eleanor did later influences Betty or influences Michelle. And, and, and in many ways, that was sort of the reason for the three of these. You know, Eleanor was in so many ways the first modern first lady. I mean, she walked in and said, I want an office. And they said, what for? Yeah. And, uh, you know, and then, you know, in investigating, you know, Eleanor's, you know, activism, it was very much, you know, around desegregation and, and women's, you know, uh, voice and women's rights. And that led us straight into Betty and, and, of course, you know, Michelle and the issues that surround their terms. And so it was a really uh, kind of natural process of, you know, trying to find those points that connected them naturally. And it was surprising how similar they truly were. And the series is very much about that, you know, about 
about sort of the march of time and what we can learn from history and how we can change the future. Impact is 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 clearly what, what you mean to serve up here. I find it so interesting. You have the woman who served as first lady the longest period of time, the shortest period of time, and one the regular two-term period of time. An incredible um, job, uh, Kathy Shulman, and we want to thank you for it. Thanks for having me, and, you know, we'll continue through all, the march of all of them. Looking forward. All right, take care.